Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can earn free Amazon gift cards by playing games on your mobile or desktop device. So one that you can use is called Feature Points. This is an app and website where you get paid to basically download games, usually in mobile format, like Clash of Clans or Mobile Strike or something like that. You can play it for like two minutes and then you get a certain amount of points for trying it out. And then once you get these points accumulated a little bit, you can cash out via Amazon gift cards. Or you can do PayPal, Bitcoin, and many other options. So you can go to the Google Play Store if you have an Android device. You'll notice there's like a list of games on there. And then you get paid to try them out. Now they'll have other apps as well. They might have like Facebook Messenger or you know Instagram or whatever. They have all sorts of things you can try out. It's not just games. They also have other ways for you to make money as well. And they have an Apple version of the app if you want to get it for your iPhone which is also a 4.3 out of 5 star rating. And if you can, if you want to use the website version, you can go to featurepoints.com. You can see that you can make money a lot of different ways and when you want to cash out, they have a lot of different types of gift cards. So to sum up feature points, basically you get paid to download apps, surveys, you have videos, you have shopping where you can earn cash back, you have referrals, the referral programs, one of the best that I've seen is for any kind of free service because it gives you 50% of whatever your referrals earn for life. And also, if you sign up with a referral code, if you haven't used feature points before, you can use the code E7KRRE and you'll get 50 to 100 free points when you get started and it allows you to kind of collect your first gift card much faster. And then again, you can also do Visa gift cards, Bitcoin, PayPal, however you want to cash out. So next you have an app called Swagbucks. This is also a website that you can use on your desktop browser if you want. And this one also pays you to play different games, popular ones like Angry Birds and others like Solitaire where you can get paid points for maybe spending money on the game or by playing the game. So you can see it's a pretty highly rated app. It's over four out of five stars on Google Play. And you can see that they have quite a few screenshots you can look through as well before downloading. And they also have a 4.4 out of five star rating for the iPhone version of the app. And then if you want to sign up, you can get swagbucks.com and just go straight to the website on your desktop device. And you can go through all the different types of games they have. They have Solitaire, they have multiple versions of that, Angry Birds, Bejeweled, Wheel of Fortune. So lots of pretty popular games that are known as classics. So to sum up Swagbucks, you have you know the ability to get paid to surf the web, play games, take surveys, watch videos. They have a referral program. You earn 10% for life for whatever the people you refer earn as well. And then you can cash out via Amazon gift cards, Visa, PayPal, or you can also even buy gift cards at discounted rates and use them at your favorite stores. Next, you have a app and browser that you can also use on your desktop device called Full Dive. Full Dive is supposed to be a faster, more secure browser that allows you to automatically have lots of security built in and also be built for the future and adding all sorts of social media elements, being fully capable of working with VR and all sorts of stuff that's going into the future. So Full Dive browser, if you look it up on Google Play for your Android device, it's got just under five stars, 4.7 out of five, so very highly rated. Lots of people really like it. And again, you can look at screenshots, you can look at the description, it'll tell you why it's so highly rated. Browse up to eight times faster. It's uh, able to block ads and pop-ups automatically, and it res rewards you also for doing the browsing. So lots of cool ways to use the app, of course. And you can also get the Apple version, which they have a VR version as well. If you want to do the, if you have a VR headset, you can use the browser for that. And you can even check out that for iPhone. So some of the main details for Full Dive, they allow you obviously to get paid to search the internet. You can, whis you can listen to music using your browser. You can look at news, of course. You can watch videos. You can even download videos and watch them offline. And they also have like a lock screen rewards program, kind of like SlideJoy, if you've ever heard me review SlideJoy. Um, it can put ads like on your lock screen and earn money from that. You can enter a promo code as well and 
earn 2,500 points for that. And then when you refer people, you get 2,500 points as well. And you can cash out via Amazon gift cards, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and they're supposed to come out with more gift card options and currency um, cash out options in the future. So $1 is equal to 10,000 points as well. You can also donate what you earn and they only require that you earn five dollars before you start withdrawing or donating that money so next you have something called inbox dollars which is also a browser website of course that you can use on pretty much any device and they also have an app for google play they do also have a apple version of inbox dollars but it's just surveys only so you're not going to be able to get paid to play games if you're using it specifically on iphone using the iPhone app. Now you could probably do the browser on your on your iPhone with how good smartphones are these days and be able to make money doing it that way. But the Inbox Dollars app for iPhone specifically is only surveys. So the full version is available for Google Play if you have an Android device. It is highly rated to around four out of five stars and you can see that they also pay you for a lot of different things. So to sum up some of the things that you can do with inbox dollars, you can get paid to read emails. So they have like promotional emails you can read. Obviously they have games you can play. You have videos you can watch. You have offers like um, I've seen insurance companies. I've seen like all sorts of subscription services where you get like a free quote or you get a free trial and then they'll give you a ton of points usually for doing something like that. Actually, they don't even have a point system. They actually tell you in how, in dollars how much you're going to earn for each website that you visit or each email that you read, each game that you play. They tell you in dollars instead of points where you have to convert everything. So that's also nice. It's very transparent and uh, you also have a referral program here as well. Now, if you have an Android device and you want to get an Android app that also pays you Amazon gift cards and allows you to get paid to play different games, you have something called Rewarded Play. So Rewarded Play is an Android app that is very highly rated at 4.3 out of 5 stars and they pay you for playing all sorts of different games and that's literally um, how you get paid. So you get paid for spending time on these games and then you can cash out via Amazon or other gift cards. Again, this is not available for iPhones, so it's for Android only, but to sum it up, you get to play games like Yahtzee, Words with Friends, Solitaire, Wheel of Fortune, Mahjong, and you also have Amazon gift cards, other gift cards available for cashing out, as well as getting paid very quickly within 48 hours of cashing out. So now we're going to get into a different type of service that pays you. You can get paid to play games, but you're not getting paid to play specific games necessarily. You're getting paid to play games on your phone or literally just use your phone as normal. So you can have pretty much whatever mobile game you like to play. And as long as this other app is running in the background, you will pretty much get paid or collect money while you are playing that game even though it's not really direct so one of these types of apps is called panel app and this is available for both android and apple devices you can see it's very highly rated at around four and a half out of five stars and it pays you to literally let them collect data in the background you can also do things like take surveys as well and if you want to do that of course that will you know take a little bit of time but it's another way you can make money kind of playing games because it's just running in the background collecting data usually it has to do with your location so if you play mobile games while you're at work or while you're on the bus or whatever or you're taking a train you know you can get paid um, and it, it basically collects anonymous data for for consumer research or otherwise known as market research to do studies on what kind of places consumers go to on a daily basis. Some other apps will collect data on what kind of websites you like to visit or what kind of apps you like to use. It all has to do with like market research. So some of the main things about the panel app, you get paid sweepstakes, you have prizes, you can actually earn more than you spent time on. If you earn just from the basic things with the panel app, you can earn 12 to $84 or so per year. But they also have sweepstakes where you might win a $100 Amazon gift card just from um, entering in and getting these prizes for keeping the app installed on your phone. Again, they mostly track location. Obviously, they're gonna keep your data safe and it's for market research purposes. They're not trying to build profiles on each individual person or anything like that. Another app kind of similar to this that collects data in the background 
while you're playing games on your phone is called a mobile expression panel. This is around four out of five stars as you can see for Android devices and it pays you just to let it run in the background and collect anonymous data on you know apps that you like to use and things like that so um, letting them track your usage which is something of course your probably your phone manufacturer your phone service a lot of these other apps where you agree to the terms of use they're going to be collecting you know data on you already even the browsers you use you've probably seen Google and some other companies come under fire about that but you are at least getting paid for it with this app and you are consenting to it knowingly so mobile expression is just another way where you know they're going to collect data but that you know about it and they're going to pay you for it so when you look at the highlights of mobile expression they pay you for letting them track your usage of the internet for market research purposes they have surveys you can take as well as you know that's what a lot of these apps do they'll have surveys they're just trying to collect data any way they can and then if you're in the u.s you're also supposed to be eligible for a free five dollar amazon gift card when you sign up as long as that promo is still going and then after that you can earn $25 gift cards you also have sweepstakes for iPads Samsung TVs and all sorts of things as well you do usually need to be 18 years of age or older to do this as well so then you have something called the mobile performance meter mobile performance meter again very similar you can earn around you know $72 or so per year just letting this run in the background I know it's not much but it's the accumulation of these different apps that are going to pay you you know to play games or use your phone however you choose obviously getting paid to play games and other things like that for Amazon gift cards is not something that's ever going to really pay very much but mobile performance meter another one you can use get paid a little bit extra money you know enough to go out to eat maybe a couple times you know extra per year basically for free and if you look at some of the screenshots here it's very simple you just need to make sure it's running make sure that um, it is enabled and then you can check your history how many times you cashed out and things like that and this is another one that's pretty much for Android only as was mobile expression so with the mobile performance meter you can uh, let them collect data they'll pay you around six dollars on average per month you get paid in the form of points for both letting the app collect data and doing surveys as well 100 points is equal to one dollar and five dollars must be earned before you can start exchanging your money for amazon gift cards or other types of payments so as far as what they collect data on types of apps you use duration of phone calls date time amount of text messages sent speed of your network duration of browsing sessions battery life and survey responses if you choose to do those and then last but not least you have the Nielsen mobile app which basically is the same company that does TV ratings you've probably heard of them or at least more than the other data collection companies here but they've been around a very long time starting kind of in TV and now they do other things as well but you can get the mobile app for your Android device which looks like this and you can see a few screenshots here you just got to make sure it's active and running in the background like the last few apps I showed you and then they also have an Apple version as well it's got about three out of five stars so not the highest rated but not terrible either and as far as the main highlights of Nielsen mobile basically you get paid around fifty dollars per year per device that you have the app running on for data collection again for market research purposes you can cash out via visa amazon and many other gift cards and then you also have the chance to win different sweepstakes that could pay a pri pay out in the form of prizes between twenty five and one thousand dollars in value so hopefully this was helpful these are a few ways you can make money playing games and earning free amazon gift cards let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my daily videos on how to make money online lots of different ways. And I'll see you in the next video.